there everyone all the techies and data enthusiasts there so guys welcome you all to my youtube channel this is video 4 of our python playlist and in this particular video we are going to discuss about setting up your environment so guys basically in this particular video i'm going to show you all how can you install python and how can you install your anaconda as well in your laptop and finally we'll be installing a vs code editor and we'll be installing the useful extensions of vs code so guys, I hope those who all are already familiar with Python and they all are practicing, right? So they might already know how to install them and they might have configured it already. But those who have started it very newly, you guys can just watch this video completely to configure your Python environment, your Anaconda and even VS Code without any errors. As well as those who have already configured, guys, uh, those who are learning Python right now, very new, you can share with uh, your friends this particular video. It will be very helpful for them to configure their python environment so guys now let's dive into my computer screen and discuss more about this particular topic so guys i hope you all can see my screen now this is setting up your environment so in this particular video we are going to discuss about it firstly we are going to install python so you have to install python either you can install python from the official website or even you have one more option as well to install python in windows so just open your microsoft store this is your first step okay so i'll be just showing you all the first step then we will go with the second step okay so in your microsoft store let me just bring it here so here you can just search for python so when you search for python you get here you can see a 3.11 12 so 10 9 whichever uh, python interpreter is suitable for you you can just install it just click on python 3.12 for suppose right now it's 3.12 so you can just click on 3.12 and click on get so immediately it will be installed and configured in your laptop as well by default the environment will be added okay so this is the very easy approach and my best recommended approach you can say so just click on get it will start to load and it will start to install you can see a pending starting to download and already it started with one percent i guess So it do take some time but uh, the installation will be done okay so you can install it from here i am not going to install because i already have 3.11 and i am not looking forward to go to 3.12 so that's the reason i am not going to install it i have paused it okay so your first step will be to click on this and install it very easily so i'll close this and second step is go to python's official website python.org so just search for python.org and immediately you will get the python official website so this is the python official website and here you can just click on downloads so in downloads you have your python 3.13 as well it's a pre-released one and it's a planned one you can say it's a pre-release beta version so there might be some bugs so now the stable version is python 3.12 so you can just come here and you can see at the last release date was june 6 2024 in a sense recently they have made updates for 3.12 so just click on download so if you just click on download uh, immediately it should start to download now so you have to select the file so it's for windows right so here you can see it's recommended as well it shows you as recommended so you can just click on this windows so you can see it has been downloaded right now so 25 mb it is so you can just download it double click on it So yeah, I have opened it two times. So I'll just click once. So just click on install now. And it will start to install. Okay. So your Python is automatically been upgraded right now. So I have 3.11. This has been upgraded now to 3.12. That's all. Apart from that, nothing else will happen. So I'm not going to upgrade it because I have many projects running on 3.11. I don't want to disrupt them. Okay. And one more main thing I am not updating and I am not recommending you all to update is only reason because of the projects which I have already written in 3.11. So if you uh, upgrade without uh, knowing whichever libraries you are using, so whether they are available or not and whether they are deprecated without seeing them if you directly upgrade your Python, there is a high chance that some requirements or dependencies might fail and your project uh, might not work. So again you have to sit and change the code. 
so normally uh, you can you will be having a uh, ve and v but uh, why to simply take a risk so don't upgrade a uh, python version when you are doing some projects particularly so once the projects are done then you can automatically upgrade it if you are using ve and v that is not a problem but some of them will be there root level uh, guys again the very early stage guys you guys will be there those who haven't used ve and v and you might have written all the projects directly you might have installed them configured them and run them as well so if you install directly there is a high chance of disrupt okay so here you have uh, this one you can see here so download it and in the download section execute it and launch it and so after launching it also sometimes you will feel face the issue of not uh, finding that particular environment so the high chances is at that particular time you have to add the environment so those who are using windows just click on this windows button and search for environment variable so you can see here edit the system environment variables here click on this environment variables and here so you have to add path in this system variables so not used by 123 sa so this is different so add your path at here in the system variables just click on new and you can add give the name of it as python and the path path in a sense the directory so you can see here i have my python in this i guess i'll just click on edit not this one so let me just search for my python okay here you have path right so just click on this so in this path you might find python here Okay, so right now, uh, I guess my Python is not at, uh, added here. That's okay. So I have installed it from Microsoft uh, Store, right? So it's been configured by default. You can see here I have added Git command, Docker commands, and in, uh, Nvidia's uh, all those uh, requirements, which are is there AWS CLI uh, URLs. So there is a high chance that these gets added by default. Sometimes if doesn't add, you have to come to this path and you have to add it. Okay okay so let me close this and let's move forward so for mac os you have to just uh, open your terminal and run this command brew install python so it's very simple right so to verify python right just type windows plus r and you will get cmd option type cmd and enter here you can just type python hyphen hyphen version so if your python is already available you will get the version okay now let's move into anaconda installation okay for this just open a new tab and search for anaconda download okay so immediately you will get this official website of anaconda you can open this and here you have an option to either create the account or explore the anaconda hub so you can just click here for free download you have an option here for free download just click on this provide your email id here so you can provide any email id and submit to download the distribution as soon as you submit you get here an option to download python 3.12 64-bit graphical interface that's windows and you even have mac os so in mac os you have different different versions here so you have for uh, graphical installer for apple silicon so based on this even you have apple intel chip right so based on your uh, to say based on your uh, laptop configuration those who are downloading for apple make sure ch to check whether it's graphical installer or you require command line installer so whichever it is you can download it and uh, the same for intel chip and apple silicon so check whether your uh, particular laptop is with apple chip or intel uh, chip okay apple silicon chip or intel chip so which is uh, suitable for you you can install it the same goes to even python uh, this one linux so in linux you have a uh, default linux installer then aws graviton 2 so if you are using aws graviton 2 it's for servers i guess and linux on ibm z and linux 1 installer so whichever is configured you can select it mostly yours will be this default installer so just click on this download so mine is windows so i am just clicking on download 
So if you need me to install it on your Linux, you can just comment below. I'll create a separate video on how to install in Linux and configure Anaconda. Okay. So I'm not going to download this one as well. I already have it in my laptop. So I just wanted to show you all how you can download this. Okay, so the same goes for Anaconda as well. And one more best part in Anaconda is by default, Anaconda adds the environment. You can just download and execute and run it's over. Okay, so I can just type Anaconda here. You can see this is my Anaconda Navigator, Anaconda Prompt, Jupyter Notebook is here. So you can open it, anything. So if I just open Anaconda Prompt right now, click on search for Conda iPhone iPhone version. So in Anaconda, you have to run Conda, okay? You can see here it's 24.3 mine. Let me also show you in Python version also in Anaconda. See my Python version even in Anaconda it's 3.11.7 only. That works out for me. So that's uh, more than enough for me because it's even also a stable version. And let's now move to text editors. So which text editors you guys have to choose. So you can see uh, there are a bunch of text editors. You can select PyCharm, Sublime Text, Visual Studio. So uh, all these are common you can say. So if you want to install VS Code, just search for VS Code here. And immediately you will get the first website to download VS Code. Okay. So to download VS Code, you can see here again, it goes same. So download for window, Windows, it's default. And for uh, which one you should download it for your uh, Ubuntu, you have to select, okay, whether your particular uh, Linux instance is based on Debian, Ubuntu, or it's a Red Hat Linux or Fedora. So you have to select uh, which one. Mostly, I guess you all might be using Ubuntu or a Debian based system only. So just click on Debian. These are Red Hat and all these are for uh, servers and some of them do use even Red Hat Linux and Fedora as well. Fedora is also very good. So you can select any of them even for Mac OS. So whether it's Intel chip, Silicon chip, it's universal. You can just click on this and it will be installed. Okay. So just click on download and it doesn't take much time. It will download it immediately. You can see a 94 MB. It's so as soon as you download it, you get it. Okay. So I'll close that as well. So all these are uh, downloaded with me. Apart from uh, VS Code, I felt even PyCharm. So even PyCharm looks good. Okay. So if you want to work with Python, you can just definitely go with PyCharm, uh, PyCharm as well. So PyCharm is also very good to use and it's even uh, to say frankly compared to VS Code in PyCharm, the debugging capabilities are very good. So you can easily debug the code. If you are interested in working with PyCharm, you can definitely try out for PyCharm. So just click on download, you will get it whether it's for Windows or anything. So whether it's for Windows or Mac, it will automatically detect and you can download it. So when it comes to PyCharm, you have for individual, for organization and even uh, for students and teachers as well. So you can select for individual. Or else you can select student teachers community of edition. So in this uh, for students teachers community, uh, you get it for free. Okay. So you can easily download it. Click on download and you will get it for downloading. Just click on this download and your PyCharm editor will start to download. So it's 716 MB. So the VS code is actually lighter version. Uh, you can just install VS code according to me. So just open this. Now I'll open VS Code. So VS Code you can directly search and open from here or just open your terminal here. So by default terminal and you can type here code space dot enter. So if you just do code space dot also your VS Code will be opened. So this is my VS Code uh, and it has many applications out there. So I trust the author. Yes. So here you have source code or source control. So this is for GitHub and you can even install many extensions out here. So the most important extensions will be one as Jupyter Notebook Reader or Render. 
Jupyter Notebook Render, which will help you all to uh, render the Jupyter Notebook related codes. So I have a bunch of many other uh, things installed as well. So in this, the most important will be for you all. Uh, one is, let me just show you all, uh, wait a second, Python. Yeah, you have to install Python extension here as well. So make sure to install this Python extension. So just search for Python here. You will get the extension, which is from Microsoft. So do install this. Then PyLance. Install PyLance as well. And apart from this, uh, remote SSH, if you want to connect to any servers, you can install it. So it's not recommended when you're a fresher, but you can have a look with this. It also looks good. Okay. So you have apart from this, which one can be used. So GitHub, uh, you can install GitHub Actions, GitHub Copilot and GitHub Spaces, which is officially from GitHub and Docker. So if you are using Docker, definitely make sure to install Docker as well. So my uh, Jupyter Notebook extension render extension is here so what this will do this will uh, help you to render the codes output easily okay you can have a look on it so i'll just show this now so guys i hope this video is helpful for you all you all don't need to take much struggle i guess so based on my steps whatever i told you if you follow you can easily install it completely and uh, you can run your python in your laptop so mostly i would recommend you all those who all are using windows to install uh, your python from windows or else uh, microsoft store so in microsoft store if you just install it will be easily configured you don't need to add the environment it will automatically be added okay so guys that's all for today's video do like share and subscribe the channel meet you all with my next video so in my next video we'll start to write the code Okay guys, bye bye.